Hello everybody, E here. Welcome back to another book review. Today we are talking about Frederick Bachman's, Bachman's, whatever you pronounce it, Us Against You. Um, this is the sequel to Bear Town, um, which if you've been following the channel at all, you'll know I gave a glowing five-star review to. Unfortunately, this one doesn't hold up to the first one. Uh, what I expected to happen with the first book um, the cheesy melodrama, the, uh, the story not going anywhere, just a, a bunch of really, uh, sappy character stuff, uh, didn't happen in the first book, but it did happen in this one. If you want a more detailed review, um, because what you get from me with these YouTube book reviews is a very gloss, gloss over, I, I just sit down and start talking to a camera. Um, whereas the Goodreads reviews are more in-depth, they go farther into it. But um, off the top of my head, the biggest problem I had with the with this one that actually ruined the experience for me is time and time again he says, this is not that kind of story, this is not that kind of love story, um, this is this kind of story, this is that kind of story, constantly reminding the reader that they're reading a book. Um, I read for the escapism as much as to educate myself on different styles of writing and things like that. It's, it's about 50-50 for me. Um, I like being able to escape into a good book, um, and I like learning from a book. I didn't, ne neither thing happened with this one. Um, I actually don't know what happened, um, other than that, because I didn't enjoy any of this. This was a slog to get through. I have several quotes back here in the back. Um, and I even quote it, it says, uh, all the times that he says this is not a story, um, it's over six times, but let's see here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, there's eight times he says something about this isn't that kind of story. Um, also, another thing is, there's, uh, quite a bit of typographical errors in here, missing words and, uh, missing quotation closing quotation marks. I noticed at least three pieces of dialogue that didn't have closing quotation marks, and the only thing I can think of is this book was rushed, um, and he tried to get out as quick as possible. Um, maybe it was written even before Bear Town. I don't know, but it feels rushed. It doesn't feel anywhere as near, uh, anywhere near as complete as the first book, and it really isn't that, uh, it isn't as affecting either. Um, the problem, another problem with the character development is I already knew all these people. I really got to know them and love them or hate them in the first book and then in this one they just kind of petered out and didn't go anywhere and then the plot is almost an exact rehash of the first book where so <laughs> whereas something horrible happens to one of the characters and then the town reacts poorly. Um, it does end on a, I guess, a brighter note, but, uh, and also, if my buddy Cody told me this was going to be a trilogy, but if there's going to be a third book, I have absolutely no idea where it would go, um, especially not the way that he ends this one, um, because the ending of this one feels like a complete wrap-up or a close of a duology, you know, just two books. So, um, have you read this one? What did you think about it? It just came out this week. Um, probably won't be a whole lot in hell, maybe all of you rushed out and grabbed it. Um, but this one and Marisha Passell's uh, Never World Wake came out on the same day, and I was pretty disappointed in both of them. But we'll talk about Never World Wake in the next video. So until next time, I have been E, you have been you. Oh, by the way, I got this for review from the publisher. Sorry. Talk to you guys next time. Bye-bye!